guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you and this feels so weird because I haven't filmed a YouTube video in probably a month a month and a half and if you don't know what's going on with me I got married so I was busy with our wedding bachelorette party then we went on our honeymoon and then we went to visit friends and family in California. So I've been traveling a lot and just being really busy while also moving into our new home. So right now I'm in our little office space, which will also be my new filming space, as you can see. And I don't want to go too much into our little update just because I want to do a separate video for that. And this video is about back to school outfit inspo and clothing essentials. So I just have some styles that I feel like are not super basic with just jeans and a t-shirt, but they're a little bit more of effort than that. And I feel like they'll make you look really cute for school if you're going to school in person. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. this video is going to work is I'm just gonna share like a outfit or a clothing essential and then I'll show you some Pinterest pictures of it and then I'll show you my own ideas of it because I don't necessarily want to say you need to get this denim jacket or this shirt I want you to be able to use these ideas in your own closet so this is why it's just really inspo you don't need to buy the exact same things that I have because I don't think anyone needs to do that. Without further ado, let's get into 15 back to school clothing essentials. Number one is the oversized t-shirt. You have seen Visco girls bring this new idea to life when they started wearing oversized t-shirts and shorts underneath so it doesn't look like they're wearing pants. Personally, I don't really feel comfortable with that so I like to wear the oversized t-shirt with leggings. If I do wear it with leggings, I may tie it up just so it kind of looks cuter, but sometimes I just leave it down and just have leggings underneath it. Or I like to do this also with jeans. So I normally will tuck it in and have it bulge out a lot, or I will also tie it up again. Another thing that I've seen people do is they tuck it under their bra and then it comes into like a little boxy crop t-shirt, which is something you could also do. So there's plenty of things you can do with the oversized t-shirt if you don't feel comfortable looking like you're not wearing pants because <laughs> I don't really like that trend that much. So that is my first little clothing essential, which I'm sure you probably have, but I'm sure that there are ways you haven't styled it yet. Next is the denim jacket. And if you see me in person, on a regular basis for the months of October through April, I'm probably wearing a denim jacket. That is just my staple piece. I wear denim jackets all the time and I have a blue one and a black one. So it kind of goes with anything. And I feel like the denim jacket is just the easiest outfit that you can do. I also like to do denim jackets, not just with t-shirts, long sleeve tees, but also when it's really cold, doing it over hoodies or sweatshirts and just having the hood outside of the denim jacket, I feel like that's a really cute college look especially. So there are plenty of ways you can wear it and you can also tie it around your waist, which I don't see a lot of people do, but if you just wanted to add a little extra flair to a really basic looking outfit, I think that doing that with the denim jacket would be a great idea. So. Never underestimate the power of a plain denim jacket. Next is a trend that we kind of saw maybe a year or two ago, the long sleeve shirt peeking out from underneath the short sleeve shirt. And I feel like this is a very 90s-esque kind of outfit. It definitely kind of gives you a vintage looking vibe, but I really think it's super cute and we've seen it a lot this summer with doing t-shirts or long sleeve shirts under dresses, which is also really cute. But I just feel like this gives your outfit a little bit more personality rather than just wearing maybe 
a spaghetti strap dress, having a white t-shirt underneath kind of gives it a little more flavor. I recommend if you have some maybe long sleeve shirts that have a little bit of color to them, maybe not just white or black or gray, but maybe something that's blue, pink, something like that. You can definitely use maybe a t-shirt like this and put like pink underneath it or blue and that kind of just gives it a little bit more of a flair and makes it look super cute when all you did was put a shirt underneath a t-shirt. Highly recommend testing out some combinations of shirts based off of what you have in your wardrobe. Next is something that I recently got a part of probably in February is wearing joggers. I feel like this is the lazy girl essential other than leggings is joggers. And at my school, you can't wear leggings. So I definitely love joggers because it feels like you're wearing sweatpants, but it's still really cute and socially acceptable and doesn't look like pajamas. So I definitely recommend joggers with a t-shirt or maybe a hoodie so you can be super warm and have a whole sweatsuit type of look. Now this past year I actually got into fun looking pants and this didn't used to be me. I was a ride or die jeans girl and I never really wore anything else but since I started working at American Eagle I love fun pants so I have so many that I style in all seasons. I have a corduroy pair a plaid gingham print I think looking pair. I have these like genie looking pants like from Aladdin. They're really flowy and comfy and then I have like a striped flowy pair and I just think fun pants make you look so cute and anytime I see someone wearing a fun bottom whether it's pants or skirt or something like that I always have to compliment them. I normally like to keep the attention on the pants and make my top a little bit more basic so that everyone will be looking at the pants rather than my top. So that's kind of how I like to style fun pants and I think that if you at least have one or two in your closet you can definitely do some fun outfits with those. Now this next one I've never personally styled but I think this is a good outfit formula for especially August, September, maybe even October as it's still kind of warm out but what I mean is the long sleeve top with shorts. I've personally never styled an outfit like this but I think that this would be a really cute idea just because you can still be cozy but you're not going to overheat. It's a good combo I think and I've seen a lot of people do this on Pinterest and just in person. Now another thing that I've loved for years and years and years now is flannels and I wear flannels all seasons <laughs> because I just think they're so cute. My go-to way of styling flannels is of course around my waist. I think that is an outfit style or formula that should never go out of trend even though it's not really trendy right now it's something that I will always love because I think it is so cute. What I've really enjoyed doing is maybe having a shirt that you wear underneath the flannel that is one of the colors in the flannel pattern so say you have a flannel that's like red blue and yellow then you could wear a yellow shirt and it kind of just brings out that extra color so that's another thing you can do, or you can just wear basic colored tees like black, white, and gray underneath your flannel. And that is just the easiest go-to outfit for me that I probably do maybe once a week. Now, I know this next one isn't for everyone, but overalls are so easy to style. I have a pair of denim overalls, and then I got some black flowy overalls from Target. And I feel like the black ones are a little bit more wearable than the denim ones because the denim ones can be very intimidating. It's kind of in your face. But the black ones just kind of look casual. It just looks like pants almost. Literally anything you wear will go with overalls. So if you have trouble maybe styling things together and you're not really sure, I recommend just getting a pair of overalls and you'll be good to go. Now I feel like every college girl is a fan of cardigans because cardigans are another really easy way that you can just pair things together. 
if you just have like a basic colored cardigan like white or black or even like a maroon I feel like goes with a lot of things so I feel like I don't even need to exaggerate about this one because so many people I know own cardigans and it's really just a female basic and then I don't even feel like I need to say this but I will sweaters are good clothing essential I feel like you probably own 10 plus sweaters in your closet so I don't even need to explain this one sweaters go with literally everything you can pair them with the overalls with the denim jacket with the flannel all of these things that i've talked about before you can pair sweaters with them the only thing that i really wouldn't pair a sweater with is maybe a cardigan because it's kind of already a sweater material but definitely sweaters are a good go-to going along with sweaters sweatshirts if you didn't buy like five of them during quarantine you probably already owned 20 because i know so many people bought cozy loungewear during the quarantine time i really like like i said earlier the hoodie slash sweatshirt look with a denim jacket i feel like that's a really cute college look so definitely invest in some good sweatshirts and i feel like you'll be set I don't know anyone that doesn't have a sweatshirt at this point. And the last clothing essential before we get on to accessories that you should have for school is plain colored tops. I've talked about them a lot with all of these accent pieces, but having a white, black, and gray top is so essential because they're so easy to pair with other things. Now we're gonna move on to accessories. The first accessory that I suggest is hats and I have plenty of little dad hats, I guess is the style that you might call them. I also have a beanie, I think I still have a beanie. And I know that bucket hats are kind of a trend right now but I've never tried those so there's lots of styles of hats that you can try and style. Sometimes I'll even style an outfit around a hat. So like I have a Monsters University hat that's blue based off of the logo. So I'll plan like a really basic looking outfit like a white t-shirt and black jeans or something to go with the hat so that the hat pops. So that's something you can also think about too is styling your outfits around hats. Another thing that you can style outfits around is statement jewelry. I normally have like regular pieces of jewelry, just a lot of gold that I don't consider statement pieces. What I mean by statement pieces is maybe like a big pair of silver hoops or something like that. Like those are statement pieces of jewelry. And there are times where I will plan an outfit around those hoops or maybe a necklace. The last little accessory that I feel like is pretty obvious that you can style outfits around is shoes. So I definitely have your basic white and black tennis shoes, sandals, boots, all of those things. But I also have a pair of pink Nikes and I will plan outfits around those pink Nikes because I really like to have those things pop. And if you can't tell, that's kind of how I plan my outfits is what is the piece that's going to be popping in this outfit. With all of that rambling done. I hope that you got some inspiration from this video of outfits that are still easy to put together but not as necessarily basic and kind of lazy looking. If you'd like to follow me on Pinterest to get more outfit inspo, it's Hannah Renee and I think I have two accounts. Make sure you press the run where I'm wearing a green shirt because that is the right account. So you can follow me on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And let me know also if you want to do a life update for me to tell you how married life is going. Let me know if you want to do that by liking this video too. So that is all that I have for you guys. I will see you guys next Monday. Bye guys!